Well, the Fox News Tonight Common Sense Department fully believes that everyone deserves the benefit of the doubt to an extent. Chicago's Democratic Mayor Brandon Johnson apparently has a different definition of extent because this week when a group of Chicago teenagers looted a 7-Eleven convenience store, a reporter accused the teens of participating in a mob action. And the mayor chided the reporter and defended the teens, saying the word mob dehumanizes the suspects and that it's not appropriate to refer to children as baby Al Capone. So Common Sense looked up the word mob, and Capone is nowhere to be found. A mob is simply a disorderly crowd of people intent on causing trouble, kind of like teenagers looting a 7-Eleven. Does the mayor believe that rampant crime in Chicago would go down if only the criminals got more respect? Maybe instead of mobs and gangs, we call them clubs or coteries. Sounds less menacing, right? More community-oriented, you know, kinder, gentler thieves. Common Sense is pretty sure these teenagers understand they can shoplift at will and will face zero consequences. But for the mayor to again and again ignore the victims and give the suspects the benefit of the doubt is unlikely to convince these clubs and coteries to stop stealing stuff that doesn't belong to them. Let's bring in criminal defense and trial attorney Brian Claypool. Brian, it's great to have you on. I, I mean, you know, back after a shooting back in Millennial, Millennium Park in Chicago back in April, you know, the mayor came out and said, you know, it's not constructive to demonize youth. At some time, somebody's going to have to, you know, be strong and say, this is not right. These people are not doing the right thing. Trace, you're exactly right. What the mayor's comments do is they aid and abet the commission of more crimes. So, so you're more worried about humanizing the crooks and dehumanizing the victims. That is a recipe for more violence and more crime. We've had prosecutors that aren't prosecuting criminals, mm -hmm. and we now have mayors that are enabling crooks. We yeah. live in very serious and dangerous times. Yeah, it's amazing. You talk about serious and dangerous times. We were just touching on this with Larry Elder, the fact that California, you know, is having some problems. So Kyung Law, who works for CNN, tweeted this. She's CNN. CNN, by the way, has gotten robbed three times up in San Francisco covering stories on crime. She tweets the following. In Oakland, shooting a story about crime got broken into again, but this time our car was completely empty. We were across the street. This happened in seconds. She tweets again. At the rental car return lot, the employee tells us of the 250 cars returned yesterday, 27 of them had been broken into, just more than 10% of cars. And the mayor up there keeps telling, you know, the media is exaggerating this problem. They're not exaggerating. This is legit. These numbers are real. Yeah, Trace, not only that, did you hear about Lowe's? They fired an employee for trying to obtain goods that were shoplift, to try mm -hmm. to detain a shoplifter. So we, we really, really live in really bizarre times. And I'll tell you, CNN ought to listen. Are you... Are you a country western guy, like music, Jason Aldean? Sure, yeah. Have you heard course. that song, Not in a Small Town? Yeah, we did, we did Common Sense. You did that, okay, stuff, yeah. fantastic. You know, around here we take care of our own, and, and, and you cross the line, and you know, your time's coming. Yeah. I mean, that, his song really resonates with where we're going. It's sad in our society where, where people have to be their own police. Right. And that's really, really sad. But it kind of segues perfectly, Brian, into our next uh, segment here, because this is uh, in Stockton, California. It's a 7-Eleven, where again, a robbery in 7-Eleven. And watch what happens. About 24 seconds. Well worth it. Look at this. Nothing you can do, man. There's nothing you can do, man. Tell you call police. Stop playing. Ain't nothing you can do, man, until the police come in. Hey, hey, no, you, hey, don't. Hey. Ain't nothing you can do, man. Don't do that. Don't do that, man. Don't do that. So they beat the guy up for stealing all the cigarettes, a trash can full of cigarettes. You know it's only a matter of time before those employees are, are fired. Yeah, that, that's, that's exactly my point. Employees are having to become law enforcement. Right. And, and, and they're even being fired now and reprimanded if they stop thieves. So if you, if you don't stop somebody from doing that at 7-Eleven, I was on a couple weeks ago with McDonald's with 10 people you know, right. rummaging through a McDonald's. If, if prosecutors aren't going to prosecute and if leadership, political leadership is not going to call these people what they are, crooks and punks, then you're leaving it to, in the hands of employees to have to protect their own businesses. Yeah. And we're, we're borderline living in an uncivilized society. You are going to get a very stern letter from uh, Brandon Johnson, the mayor of Chicago, yeah, okay. Brian. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Appreciate Trace. It.